good TMG fam, it's your boy L. I'm back with another reaction video, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute to y'all, man. Look, we back and we got some more Nirvana in the house, baby. Listen, we got this time come as you are. Now, shout outs to uh, the homies over there at Genius. I pulled up a little bit of information, man. It said that uh, after their surprise hit, Smells Like Teen Spirit, this was supposed to be like the the main single off of the album Nevermind, but that Smells Like Teen Spirit just flew off of the flew off of the shelf. So um, they said, despite the overshadowing, the song had good com commercial success, peaking at 32 on the Billboard and nine on the UK singles chart. The song appears to have some foreshadowing uh, tone given to Cobain's death by self-inflicted gunshot. Wound. I uh, did a little bit of research and it said Cobain had uh, had uh, committed suicide by shotgun to uh, to himself. Um, so uh, I wanted to look that up just to get a little bit of information on the song. Didn't know it was going to go in that in depth and be that deep, but it kind of gives us uh, some perspective on the song before we get into it, at least for myself. I know you guys are all fully aware of this, but being new to me, I just wanted to get a little bit of information. So let's get into it, man. Nirvana, come as you are. Even starting off there with the, the, the gun in the water is like, you know what I'm saying? Just how could they have known you know what I'm saying? That would be his cause of death, suicide, gunshot wound. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man, y'all just just continue to man love each other, love love yourself, man, and and and, be, and remember, man, there's people out here that love you and miss you and will miss you, and that you mean more to people than you actually think, man. That's that's just something I, that's that's just on me. I needed to get out. friend as who I know you to be you know what I mean it's just like telling you just to just be you come be you that's all I want I don't want nothing extra you know what I'm saying I just want to want to be around the person that I know and love and that I know will love me back you know sometimes you get in you be going through things and you just want to be around the people who love you the most you don't want the extra outside attention you don't want the back nothing you just want to be around those who who love you and who don't have no ulterior motive. You know what I'm saying? And that sounds like how they start this song off. cover art right there that I actually saw yesterday. I actually had it in the background of the thumbnail of the video uh, for the video I had dropped yesterday that we react to or or whenever this drops. It may not be the next day whenever it decides to, I decide to drop it. But um, it had like a baby floating for the dollar as well, which was it was it was kind of different, man. But it was definitely I, I guarantee it has some kind of meaning behind it that I just didn't discover or, or could, could figure out. But um, it was definitely something that was a, a, a conversational piece. 
if you will. You know what I'm saying? That's what made me use it. me knowing this now his cause of death and everything that line hits extra extra even even more it just it just hits harder to me man you know what i'm saying it almost gave me chills to hear him say that uh, uh, uh that you know what i'm saying the gun part then the gun floating in the water like somebody committed suicide by a pool or something like that. You just, this is, wow. This is crazy. that you get off of this song because it's like it's showing like i don't know if those are sperm cells or what but it looks like it could possibly be like sperm cells to then the baby to then showing uh, uh a gun like it's kind of like from creation to death or you know what i mean cradle to grave or however you want to spin that it just gives you like vibes and then you know Corb cobain died and uh uh committed suicide or whatever. So just the vibes of this song are very tangible, like very, very, very tangible listening and feeling this song, man. I, I kind of almost wish I would have heard it before his death. Maybe I could have got a different feel or a different outcome or a different aspect of this song, but it's hard. It's very, very hard. You're seeing me react to it for the first time. I would like to know how somebody else who who reacted to it or who who listened to it post his death, what their vibes was. And then I would want to hear from somebody pre-death what their vibes of the song were. Just, just to get a, you know what I'm saying, a gauge on what you guys th think of this. Definitely gotta play something uh, positively sounding upbeatish after a song like that, man. Cause I ain't even gonna lie, got me in a crazy weird vibe listening to that. Very good sounding song though. They sound very unique and good anyway. So shout outs to Nirvana for that. But y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. Always and first and foremost, I should have said it if I didn't. Can't remember if I did or I didn't, but rest in peace to, to uh, Cobain, man. Salute, may he continue to rest in peace. And uh, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of the song, man. Nirvana, come as you are. Make sure you share the video, like the video, man, and subscribe. And uh, stick around and stay tuned, man. It's your boy L. Till the next reaction video. I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay solid.
A. What we do here is go back, 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 back.